Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Subnautica. In the last episode, I was a little bit, um... I, I had high hopes, as you can see from the to-do list over on the right-hand side. However, there are some things that we are not able to make. For example, if we go to this, hydrochloric acid basically requires deep shrooms, which we don't have. And we needed this in order to make the polyan line, which we ca also cannot make, uh, which we needed for this energy efficiency module, which we cannot make because we don't have either one of those, um, that is. So we can make hull reinforcement, but I don't think I have four diamonds, so that is not a doable either. Storage module. What was this for? Did I, did, 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 Seaboth, Prawn, did, did I not have a storage module in the, um, in this thing already? Uh, open storage. I mean, we have, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Constantly. Uh, do I have any upgrades? I have zero upgrades. So a storage module would be cool if I have some lithium, I think this. Lithium, yep. And this, Seamoth Sonar, that's too magnetite. I'm not going to make that. I don't think that is quite worth it. Um, but I did... That shadow looked creepy. It... L okay, I... I think because I saw the double shadow, I was like, huh, what's this? Also, can I do a soul scan? Just real quick, it infected. Okay, yeah, got it. Cool, thanks. Um, I really need to label these machines. That's, that's something that I know that I need to do. Okay, lithium and another titanium. Okay, so we can at least make an upgrade to the storage. And, if I didn't make it clear, today I'm hopefully going to be able to go to the proposed... The gassy habitat, which is 500 meters away. I've done a little bit of research. Um, storage module. There we go. Let's make that real quick. And then prawn suit modules, prawn suit depth module, mark one. We don't have any nickel, unfortunately. Thermal reactor, jump upgrade. We don't have any crystalline sulfur, but we are going quite deep today. So hopefully that is going to be doable. So let's take a look here. Open storage. It is a 6x4. And with the upgrade, a ching, we're now at a 6x5. That's actually a huge improvement right there. I love it. Okay, cool. So that's that done. I wanted to do a couple of things before we go away. I'm pretty sure that I was going to make a bio... Ooh, not thermal plant. A bio reactor. But I don't see it anywhere. Where? Where is it? What if, uh, there we go, bioreactor. I need three more titanium. Three more pieces of titanium, then we should be able... Boom, boom, boom. Then I should be able to make this thing and get power just by... Can I place it here? No, it has to be in the center of the room. That's fine. There we go. I should be able to make power from plants, which we'll test in a moment. is a critical step towards self-sufficiency. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements to motivate you in times of despair. <laughs> okay, so the power is going down right now because it is night time. So if I'm going in here, if I just grab a bunch of these, right, they're plants, shouldn't I be able to convert those? I am making power. It's going up. It's keeping it at bay. Like, it's keeping at 251 and 252. Charge. Compo compost organic matter into energy. I don't know how long it will take it to actually do that. But hey, I guess we're making at least a little bit of power. So that's pretty cool. Um, okay. Do I have any water in here? I do not. Okay, let me empty my inventory real quick because I do have a bunch of stuff that I don't need on me at the moment. Stalker Tooth being one of them. Uh, Pathfinder Tool is probably a good idea. Should probably have a couple of batteries with me in the prawn suit. And also, I was given a name suggestion for this thing, which I don't remember at the top of my head. Uh, but I will name and color the thing in a moment. Thank you. I did not mean to actually get in, but okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I, it's only been 10 seconds. Open storage. That's what I wanted to do. 
Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Right. Let me get that comment real quick. Aha, uh -huh. got it, got it. And there we go, prawn suit, red lobster. Thanks for that name suggestion. I actually really love it. Uh, and of course, if it's a lobster, it has to be red. So we're gonna have it bright red. Uh, interior, let's make that maybe yellow. Can we make it yellow, yellowish, yellow, or blue, or purple? Black could make the interior black, but I kind of want yellow. I think yellow stripe. Um, let's make that some sort of dark red, maybe. Done. Beautiful. There we go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, we're gonna lose power eventually. Right, there is some more stuff that I feel like I wanted to do. I can also have a bunch of these because I'm super hungry and thirsty. There we go. And I would love to have some sort of water, but apparently I can't have any water. How do I make bleach again? I forgot. Bleach, salt deposit, and coral tube. Salt deposit. Let me get some coral tube real quick. Nice. So, do I have anything in this thing? I don't. Okay, imagine if I had diamonds or something in there. That would be... That would be interesting. One, two... Three. All right. Make a bunch of water for this trip. Hopefully, we'll get some water. Yep. Red lobsters. There we go. Ooh, these guys are going pretty good as well, actually. I'm just going to get the seeds from these guys. All of them, actually, because I don't think I need any of them at this point in time. There we go. Uh, how do I, I, I... It's been a while. Okay. Use planter. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. There we go. Nice. Good. So food is taken care of, and I have a nutrition nutrient block on me, which I can consume at time at times of uh, food needed. Maybe I'll bring some potatoes as well. Then we go and then make some water, so we can drink some water. We can put extra food, actually, extra food and water in the prawn suit is probably a good idea. And then I think I'm ready. Maybe. Uh. Drink that, drink that. Good. Let's see. Do we have... Ooh, yeah. That is very bright. Okay, can eat one of those. Put three extras in the prawn suit. Hopefully we'll have some extra water from that as well. I'm, I'm preparing for a big journey here because I've done a little bit of research off camera. And it does seem like it's going to be quite the journey to go there. To the proposed the gassy habitat and hopefully we'll find a lot of stuff on the way can i oh i can actually plant stuff in here are you kidding me huh well then okay cool okay please don't do that okay nice i think that that uh, is this thing empty that's empty okay cool I think that that is that. I do have an extra battery, and I do also have a flashlight, which is definitely going to become relevant. Let's change the battery. Put empty battery in here. I really want some place where I can actually recharge batteries. So that's going to be really cool. So it says active, and it spent one of them. So I guess I can go ahead and add another one. Let's try a... Ch are these Chinese potatoes? Chinese potato. Let's try and add that, and see what happens. Boom. That's cool. Now, I also wanted to see if there's any type of stuff that I can make to mark my way. Like, so I don't get lost, because we are going pretty deep. <laughs> We're going quite deep. Uh, interior, exterior modules. Glass and titanium. How do I make glass again, is the question. Should be a fairly simple recipe, I believe. Uh, glass, quartz. Question is how much quartz I have. I don't think I have a whole ton. I uh, have one, two, three. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's it. Okay. Right, we do have magnetite and ruby. We do have a lot of stuff. I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Like, cool tools or something that I could actually be making. 
I need to make sure that I have my reinforced diving suit on as well. Stasis rifle would be really awesome to have, but uh, we don't have all of the stuff for that. Neptune launch platform. Why have I not made that yet? Okay. Um, cool. Also, I want the modification station. We don't actually have that yet, but with that I could actually have made a Seamoth Depth Module Mark II, which would have been cool. An ultra high capacity tank, Pronsoon Depth uh, Module Mark II, but I don't have that station yet. We haven't actually found it. Uh, Cyclops, Engine Blueprint, blah blah blah. I think we are as good to go as we can get. Yep, that is modification station. I don't know what that is. Power cell charger. Don't know if that's battery charger. It's so much stuff we need to do. So much stuff. Um, I'll grab an extra lantern fruit. Boom. Eat that. And another one, I think. Can I? Yes, I can. Okay, sick. Let's go then. Let's go. Now, I do need to enable the beacon for life part 19. Because that's going to be a guideline for where we actually need to go. Okay. Sealed door. I, I should have... Hold on. I should make some of those beacon thingies. Because I don't have any glass, so I can't really make anything else. Uh, personal deployables. Beacon. Copper and titanium. Creature decoy. Yeah, I should make... I should make a couple of beacons. If I have two copper, two titanium. Yeah, I can make three beacons. I think that's going to be good enough for now. I kind of don't want to use all my copper on this. Oh, I'm not. Okay, good. Three beacons should be fine, hopefully. Boibles, let's make a couple of beacons. Hopefully they don't take up all of my inventory space. But we'll see. Okay, nice. And how much? Okay, yeah, easy. Easy mode. Let's go then. Let's go. Hopefully, this all goes according to plan. <laughs> Doing a quick game save here. And Sopran suit. Nice. See, Moth? See you on the other side, hopefully. Uh, so I'm going there to begin with. I'm going through this. And that's where we're going, but I need to get to that first, because that is going to lead me down the cave that I need to go to, basically. And I hope we'll actually find some really useful stuff, like blueprints and maybe some resources as well would be really cool. Not just cool, it would be really good. Okay, this is our first trip, proper trip with this thing. Well, oh, this looks interesting. Well, this looks very... hold on. Is that not the cave where we went to, like, last episode? Hold on. It is! Okay, well that's an easy access to this area. I might actually plop down a, um... Oh, I did. <laughs> I did. Oops. Uh, ignore me. I will grab a bunch of this stuff. Because if I can get lead and all that good stuff while I'm here, then that's good. Okay. Red Lobster. Oh, the name is actually on it. That's sick. That's actually sick. Okay. Well, let's go then. I'm going this way. Any scannables over here? Looks like it's just a bunch of scrap. Okay. Yep. Going towards this, I think I need to be like 300 meters away from this thing in order to like, be roughly where I want to be for the cave entrance. So I guess I'll see you there. Alright, we're going down deep. This is creepy. Alright, well, I'm already off on the wrong track here. I need to be 600 meters away from that thing. So now I need to climb this that I just spent time on well, jumping down from, so hopefully I can now actually get back up again. This thing does seem pretty, like, decent at climbing, so I should be fine if I am... Ooh, gold. Pick it up! There we go. I should be fine. Like, it has a pretty large booster, I would say. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. 
boom. Okay, and then that looks creepy. Go up here. All right, so here it is. So we are looking for this space right here. So there's the two biomes, the red grass biome and the green grass biome over there. I will leave a link to the video that I follow down below in the description, by the way. Uh, so that is life part 19. It's 572 meters away from that. That is a proposed stack gassy habitat. So I can now go ahead and actually remove you. And let's remove these other beacons as well. Don't need it at the moment. Don't need this either. Uh, that, don't need that, that or that. Okay. So I'm going to right here, I'm going to deploy one of these so I know where the entrance is. And so I can roughly find my way out. There we go. And I'm gonna name it. AD Beacon name. Uh, what, what am I gonna call it? Like going down, departure, the, um, uh, descent to proposed. Gatsy. Uh, oh. That, well, that's gonna be it. <laughs> there we go. So, I guess we're just gonna go down here. Deploy this so we don't have a hard landing. Yep. There we go. I will grab a bunch of this stuff, like I said, because I will need materials and the food that I have and whatnot will be used so I'll have hopefully space but here we go this should be going down pretty deep and I can use this thing some of the time to actually get some resources on the way come on there we go oh Ooh, hello wow this place does look pretty. Does this thing have flashlights? No, it does not. Or headlights, sorry. We gotta take this descent nice and slow. Maybe I can scan some stuff on the way. Membrane tree. Does look like a brain. Diamonds! Ooh. I do like diamonds. I thought there were more or rocks but apparently not all right i guess we're going down here Burr. nice and slow nice slow and controlled descent and we gotta take our time here make sure that we know our surroundings and don't go into some place stupid don't get into trouble or anything like that Put this here so I can actually move around quicker. And I do have the right suit on, right? Reinforced life suit. Yep. Good stuff. Copper. More of this. Copper. Titanium. Nice. And what's this stuff? Something to scan, maybe? Anchor pod. Don't tell me this is a giant egg. That would be very bad. Anchor parts. Hmm. It doesn't say that it's an egg, but it also does not confirm that it's not an egg. That's good. And so, basically, now I just have to stick with the cliff to my right. And we should be good. Emphasis on should. <laughs> uh boy. Right. This game is a horror game. Let's uh, keep remembering that. My inventory is getting full pretty quick, huh? Gold. I would love more diamonds. But we'll see. Oh, it does have some light, so I just can't talk them on or off. Okay. I've already used 88% of the battery? That's not good. Or did it just not charge at the base because it was nighttime or something weird? That's worrying. Also, what's this? Thermal plant fragment. I think this will just give me titanium. Yep, because I already have it. Dang it. <laughs> Don't really need a lot of titanium. Because I have a lot of scrap around my base that I can collect for titanium. 
I'm taking it in small steps. I'm not just like jumping down because I want to make sure that I can actually get back up again. Oh, well. Hmm. I guess time will tell. <laughs> time will tell when we're actually going back up. If we ever go back up. I don't know what this trip is actually going to result in. Hmm. Okay. So we're currently 300 meters down. So the sea moth could not actually take this trip with our current depth module. A 7% battery power. Oh boy. Should I just jump down there? I don't know. I guess I am kind of doing it now. We'll grab some quartz. Oh boy. This place is almost too quiet. Oh, that's salt. I don't really want salt deposits. <laughs> I want diamonds. I guess it was good too. It is actually very quiet. Okay. Let's just jump down. Let's see what happens. It's either gonna be great or catastrophic. We're getting close though. 200 meters. It's actually going faster than I expected. Oh, calm down. Please hold. Wait, am I stuck? Okay. Phew. Good. We're good. All is good. Post the gassy habitat. So now I'm no longer following like the cliff. So I think I'm actually gonna put a beacon down right here. Because I have a beacon up there somewhere. Descent. So we've gone in a circle essentially. So I'm gonna put one here. Uh, put one here. Uh, midway point, I'm gonna call this. Pro propose the Gatti. A titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. Okay. So we're getting close. It's only 165 meters. I don't know whether or not I go that way or that way. I would assume this way around. Right? Yeah, this seems right. like the right choice. Oh, hello. And what are you? I don't... I don't like spiders. <laughs> Why are you there? Oh, dang it. You look nasty. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, well, that's just good, isn't it? And are you coming this way? Nope. Good. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to go over here real quick. I need a game plan. Because they do not look friendly. And I don't have weapons on this thing. But I also need to be close because of oxygen thingies. Um. Huh. Oh wait, you are getting close, you are getting close, you are getting close, you are getting close. I'm just gonna move over here real quick. Okay, I think I'm good. Right. We are here. Not that many resources around. Okay, I guess this is it. Open storage. I'm gonna take some of these. Take a water bottle. Run over here. Where it's safe ish. Consume this and consume some water. Okay. And consume another water because that those potatoes are apparently minus. Okay, they're basically useless at this point. Oh, man. I don't like those spiders. They're creepy. Whoa! Hello! Can I put this thing in here? Oh, I can. Okay. Good. So I'm kind of safe in here. Oh, 
prone to do this anyway. Hi. Hello. I need to go up here. Uh. Okay, PDA. Do I want that now? I guess I do. Came out of nowhere. An alien kraken, bigger than a cyclops. Tore a hole clear through the reinforced hull. I better got my breather in time. I told her. I said others would come. A rupture threw me clear of the habitat. And the monster turned and bore down on me. And just as its tentacles came within reach, Nader appeared out of nowhere. She had a sea glide in one hand, a jagged piece of scrap metal in the other. She meant to butcher that beast or die trying. The last I saw her, she had the metal lodged in its neck as the monster did its best to shake her, contorting off into the darkness. I'm certain she got her wish, one way or another. Then I thought I saw a light. Me. I hope maybe Bart had swum clear. I followed it. Now I wonder whether I saw anything at all. Our oxygen is low. The habitat is gone. I can't see the sky. Something surely has the scent of my blood. That doesn't sound good. Especially considering the neighbors that is currently around me at the moment. Okay, how on earth do I get in here? Uh, can I get through this? No. Through this? No. Aha! Maybe? Yes. Okay. Good. Now I need to watch my oxygen, because I actually need to be able to make it out of here. Well, they had some sort of habitat here, clearly. There's another PDA. Swim charge fence. Okay. I need to take this very ooh slowly. So that is basically an EMP. Integrating new PDA data. Please stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biometrics would have warned us if we were sick. It's something new. It's not in the database. Oh. Come on, man. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out? Dissolve us into jelly? It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. It's altering our genetic code. Mm. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? I don't know yet. Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, son. Materials. Equipment. Just... Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Okay. Those are... Ooh. Please don't kill me. Okay. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Okay. There we go. Right, so, so far, that's all we have found. Uh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. One bit. Okay. What's that all that is in here? Open storage. Nothing. Pick up carry all. I mean, is it useful? I don't know. I'm, I'll take it. It's pretty big, though. Wasn't there a top floor as well? Uh, there is. So how do I get in there? Uh, oh. Scan. Alien containment. Wait, what? Oh. That's useful, I guess, for... Oh, there's a ladder. Goes down. And database thingy. Cyclops shield generator. Sounds very relevant. <laughs> and what do we have here? Another abandoned PDA. Disaster. Integrating oh, no. new PDA data. I will listen to that as soon as I get away from disaster. And over to this thing. 
Okay, uh, blueprints, beacon, photo, data bank, voice log. Nope, this. Uh, that is disaster. I have had it with you, risking our lives. Oh, stow it, chief. The kid can't kill this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing him home. What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. <laughs> it ain't always they oblige in coming in alive. It means you're being reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if we hole up in here and don't go outside. But we have to find a middle way. There is no compromise. Not while she's on my sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Bard, Torigal has disembarked the habitat. Bard, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I knew you could hear me. Oh, dear. Chief. Chief, get off the radio and put on your helmet. What? Brace! Hmm. Now we know what happened to them. Not a not good. <laughs> to say the least. Uh is that all this place has to offer? I don't think there's anything else for me to scan. Oh, we got a radio though. We got a radio contact. I guess that's it for this place. I guess I can try and go back home now. Um, yeah. I guess I can. If I could find where it is. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm a tad bit lost right now. <laughs> I was hoping to find more useful blueprints. Hello. Goodbye. I was hoping to find more resources and more blueprints. Uh, but I guess we did get some stuff. We got alien containment provides optimal conditions for flora and fauna. Add a hatch to enter. We also got Cyclops heal generator, obviously good. And wirelessly charges your health tool while you swim. Again, polyaniline is required. Now these spiders are making it a bit difficult for me to actually exit <laughs> especially when it's sitting right there i'm also in doubt whether or not i should research no explore a little bit more because it does go on for a bit oh no not those things uh right let me quickly put you there just in case I'm not seeing much resource down here, to be honest. And, okay. Mm -hmm. You don't look friendly. Yeah, maybe I just go back and see what that radio transmission is. And if I want more resources, I go down to that mushroom cave. I'm gonna go now. I think that's the right call. Run. Okay, this bridge is very difficult to actually navigate. Come on. I know you can do it. I know you got this. There we go. Good. Okay, so we found it. Oh, but what if there's something around it? I'm pretty sure I didn't miss anything. Hmm. Pretty sure and being sure are two very different things. <laughs> that that is all that is. Hi. Hello. Creature. Don't know what that is. I don't really want to find out. It does go deeper. I do think that I should just return though. It doesn't look like that there's any hints or something that there's something here. Like a cyclops arm for with a drill or something like that. What's this? Don't know either. Oh, swimming right past you with the weird hooks. I think we're just gonna try and get back up. Emphasis on try. Because you're there. 
Hello. Um, what is this? Uranium? Uranite. I need this. I do need the uranite. Okay, hold up. I saw a bunch of this. Can I, like, get you to go away or something? I need oxygen. Need oxygen. Go away. Bad. Oh, I actually hit it. Oh, wow. Cool. Yeah, I need, I need this uranite. I should probably scan it first. That's not uranite. That's an egg, isn't it? Yep. N don't need that. <laughs> but I do want to scan this. And... Ching. Right. That's good, because I have seen recipes with that. So I'm going to take that. Uh... There's another spider thingy, just looking real quick, if I can see any. Grab. Another creature egg. Uh, creature egg? Nope, oh, you're a knight. Okay, so at least we got a bunch of this stuff, which is good. Mm, I want to get too close to you, that's for sure. But I think that is all of it. Well, not all of it, but a bunch of it anyway. That's like eight or something. I think that's eight. Eight or seven. Yeah, we can always come back. Don't push my stuff around. Dummy. Go away. That's right. You don't mess with the red lobster. <laughs> I love that name, saying it like that. Alright, let's get out of here. If I can. Uh, ooh, 40. It has taken a hit. I'm pretty sure... Oh, well, you're a knight. I'm pretty sure that I have my repair, repair kit with me. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exactly. Repair tool. ka -ching. Repair. That, no, I wanted to repair. Repair tool. There we go. Right click, not left click. Man, they gave it a beating, didn't they? And three, and a two, and a one. Done. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get that. That's the eighth one. Okay. Let's see what that radio transmission is. Maybe it's in the next clue we need. So there we go. That's the half point. Midway point. And now we just need to keep the ledge here to our left. And I need to climb. If that is going to be possible, please make that ledge. Yep. Perfect. Okay. I think we're good. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Big emphasis on maybe, because uh, why does this seem impossible to climb right now? Oh boy. Well, I can get some more quartz. Ah, we'll be fine. As long as I don't mess up and land somewhere I'm not supposed to. We're good. I'll try and make it to that ledge if I can. Oh yeah, easy mode. Easy. Please hold. Yes! Even further than expected. Nice! This trip was not too bad. I think I can make it up here, maybe. That's a big maybe. Made it, though. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. That wasn't too bad. Would have probably been easier with the Seamoth. But considering we don't have the modification table yet, which I don't know where it is, then that's fine, I guess. I suppose I need to do a lot more research. Not research, but um, searching in areas. Like just going around and um, like discovering places. Not discovering, because I have been a lot of places. But like, I think you know what I mean. 
search the place, see if there's anything that I missed. Anything to scan or stuff like that. Okay, I definitely can't make that climb. Uh, can I make a climb somewhere? Back to this spot. Yeah. Well, hey. I think it's night time, though. <laughs> And then up here. Yeah. Okay, this brown suit is actually really cool. Especially if we start getting it upgrades, like uh, drill arms and stuff like that. It's gonna be awesome. Yep. Now just to cross this ledge, because I uh, don't want to go down again at the moment. Yeah. Alright, I guess I'll see you at home. And there it is, home sweet home. Not too bad. That was actually a pretty quick trip. Like, it didn't take ages. It's fairly close to home. And it's only slow to get back and forth because this bronze suit is slow in itself. Alright, back home. Nice. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I am very happy to hear that. Okay. I will grab nutrient block and this and this. Good. I have a lot of resources to get rid of now. Um. Oh, wow, yes. Very good. Very, very, very good. Okay. Let me empty this stuff off. And how is this looking? This could use some more green stuff to make some more power. I'll empty my inventory, and then we'll listen to that radio stuff. You're a night crystal. I'm very happy we actually got that. And let me grab a potato for the bioreactor. Yeah. We are using quite a bit of power, though, now that we are charging the Cyclops as well. Not the Cyclops, Red Lobster. <laughs> Get this, leave the batteries and the water there for future events or future missions. Put this in here. Very good. All right, let's listen to this. This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. Oh. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. What's that? Location uploaded to PDA. What's that sent now? Use life part sunk 500 meters before she abandoned it. 1,500 meters away, that's... Oh dear. I mean... That's 500 meters depth. Welcome aboard, Captain. This thing can take 300 meters. How fast can I swim 200 meters? Because <laughs> she said straight up. Which means I can dive straight down. So like, with this thing, the sea glide, right? Like... That's like 50 meters in... Like 10 meters a second, maybe? So that would be 10 meters a second, that's 100 meters for 10 seconds, or so 30 seconds. It's just, it's a long way to go with the Red Lobster. Mm. Let's see what the Sea Moth can do. Let's go. Let's just see what happens. I'm curious. Maybe we'll find something else over there as well. I'm gonna try with this first, get as far down as I can before it actually takes damage. And then we'll see. Let me know, by the way, if you have any name suggestions for the Seamoth down below in the comments. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, that's just salt. I'm looking for any kind of thing that I have not scanned yet for the modification table. I want it so badly. Like, I really, really, really want it. I need to be a lot more, like, looking around when I'm swimming around for at wreckages and whatnot as well like stuff like this there's a thing here there's actually something in there but is this something that i've actually taken or not 
it's a mobile vehicle bay fragment, but that could have been modification table, for example. I need to be really awake and look for these things. But it's also difficult to remember which wrecks I've been to, because that I've been to. But this one over here, for example, have I actually looked everywhere? I don't know if I've searched this thing, for example. There's nothing there. Thankfully, the scanner icon shows up if there's something I haven't scanned yet. I don't actually remember. I've definitely not done this. Hello. Propulsion cannon fragment. I think that's just gonna return us titanium. Battery charger fragment, please let it just have to be one. Please let me get it just from that. Two. So like, see this I haven't actually gotten before. I assume this just opens back up to the open. No, it does not. Hello. I come in peace. Maybe. Vehicle bay fragment. Battery charger fragment. Let's go. That's a highlight. We can make that now. What's this? Nothing. Okay. Another battery charger. This has been open, so I could have gotten this any time I wanted. <laughs> uh, I definitely need to just swim around more. Sealed door. Is that accessible? Nope, that's a different room. Okay, hold up. See moth get over here. I need my laser cutter, which I don't have on me. Oh, now I'm just mad. Storage, please. Dang it. Okay. Uh, good thing that I have an extra beacon. Sealed door. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Why do I not have my laser cutter with me? Sealed door three. Okay, we'll come back to that. We'll definitely come back for that. That's the plan anyway. I think I'll do it today. Okay, let's keep going. Gotta reach life part two. Okay, so she said straight up. This straight up fit. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I think I've been here before. Maybe? I recognize the, like, the red dots on those vines, but I don't... Ooh. Are those the deep shrooms that we needed? Yep, deep shrooms, and I believe we can probably, like, I get the seeds. Ow! Okay, yep, definitely got the seeds. Cool. Uh, can I scan some of this? Ghost weed. Ghost weed. Blood oil. Huh. Interesting. I don't know if I got too many of these. I can probably drop a few. <laughs> and keep the seeds. Okay. And we are reaching 300 meters of depth now. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hard yep. Damage imminent. Yep. There we go. I cannot go any further down with the Seamoth, but I can... Point it straight down and turn on the lights. I have no idea if that's going to do anything. Okay, let's go. Let's see what happens. I actually have to watch this very carefully. Because I need to get back up as well. Before actually dying of... Uh... Eh, it's not too bad. It is actually not bad. What's this? Blood oil. We are on a timer here. Open data box. Cyclops Death Module Mark 1. Near blueprint acquired. Okay. There's nothing in storage, nothing to scan. Make sure that I don't miss anything. Level 2 Chief Technical Officer Voice Log. And another radio transmission. I'm going straight up. Where's my Seamoth? 
Oh, dang. I don't think... <laughs> that could have been bad. <laughs> okay, we got another radio transmission. Get to the sea moth and listen to this thing. Okay, that was... A mission successful, I'd, I'd say. Enter. Turn off the lights. Okay. I'm sorry, you are? Mm-hmm. Yep. Nice loan, yeah. Goodbye. Don't know what that thing is. I don't really kind of want to know, but I want to know on my own terms, that's what. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, this. Aurora Survivors. Two minutes. Okay. Flotation devices failed. We're flooding. Evacuate. Wait. I can reconfigure the O2 system to act as a bilge pump. It's working. Okay, oh. good news. We're alive and we've stopped sinking. Good. Bad. The oxygen's going to run out in 30 minutes and we're 500 meters down. Ooh. What do we do? We'll have to use the remaining juice to send a distress call and build whatever gear we can. Then we find a way to the surface. Okay. Um... Don't know where they went after that. But I mean... I guess that's that. <laughs> oh, man. Right, okay. That was a mission successful. The sea moth actually did a pretty good job there. I'm glad that I took it instead of the cyclops, because that, that definitely wasn't necessary. And we got the battery charger, which I definitely am making back at base. And I think we need more solar panels as well. Now I can ask myself whether or not, like, if I've been over there, have I actually checked this one out? I don't know if I... Uh, yeah, get back and in. There we go. don't know if I remember... ...being here. Oh yeah, I do. That's nothing. I've already been here. That is fine. And we are home, but probably not for long, because I need to get that laser cutter. I want to see what is actually in there, and I don't know why I've left it aboard, somewhere that is not in the sea moth. I can only assume that it's somewhere in here. Or here. <clears throat> or here. <clears throat> Or here. I know I have a laser cutter somewhere, okay? There we go. Laser cutter. Good. Can I eat these? No. Uh, but I can. Put the seeds down, maybe? Yes! We're growing our own mushrooms. Perfect. Deep shrooms, I should say. That is awesome. Put those in there. Put all the titanium and the blood oil. Mm. Uh, right. Good. So I can go back and actually do that. I want to immediately see... Alien containment. Not doing that at the moment. A uh, battery charger. Wiring kit. Copper wire. Titanium. Oh boy. Wiring kit. Copper wire. Wiring kit. Copper wire. And some titanium. Thankfully, we should have... I'm also going to take all the empty batteries now. I think for the... Yeah, I just need the copper, which we got plenty of. Boom, boom. Nice, and then two silver ore. Boom, boom. And basically all the empty batteries I need now. Or a lot of them. Four of them is probably fine. Alright, wiring kit. Copper wire. And I needed the titanium. I forgot about that. I wish you could exit this while it was crafting. What's this? Compass. Already have that. I need titanium. Stop doing weird things. I also should... I really should, like, make a room for myself that I can actually decorate. Uh, creature decoy. I can make a lot of stuff, apparently, with this. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to go ahead and actually remove... Uh, 
this. Boom. Okay, where am I making this? I assume that it should be... It should be here somewhere. It really should. Right here is good. Ka-ching. Nice. Access battery charger. Boom, 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 boom. Charging for batteries. <laughs> That's awesome. I do apologize for that. I just wanted to grab one, two, three, four, five, something like that. A lot for myself. And then one for the bioreactor. And then we get to see... Oh. Never mind. Okay. I'll eat it. <laughs> And then we get to see what the radio next radio message is, and then probably go and use the laser cutter on that door. Let's hear. Playing partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. What? Uh. <clears throat> So that was a partially translated message. So to me, it sounds like something or someone has been hunting all the other survivors considering they're nowhere to be found. Okay. Nowhere to be found at all. I haven't found them. It's been empty everywhere else. Unaccounted for one, meaning I'm probably the last and only survivor. And that's freaking me out a little. <sighs> okay. I don't really want to go cut that door now. <laughs> Patrol. Like, what does that even mean? And it's nighttime. I don't want to leave at nighttime. Ugh. <sighs> I mean, I'll do it, because I'm not a chicken. For now. But that sounds scary. It sounds like they're patrolling. Searching for the survivors. Whoever they are, or what they are. AI, or a creature, or something. I don't know. <sighs> okay, so... I guess, what do I do now? I would like modification table. I need Cyclops stuff. If I'm not getting any hints at this point in time on where to go, I guess I need to explore on my own. Go different places. That I don't think I've been to yet, maybe. Gather more resources and materials. Maybe in, in that mushroom cave area. Maybe go to one of the islands again or something. I don't know. I don't know why I would go to another island. Why is this door now locked? Not locked, but closed. That's a close on its own. I don't like this. Okay. It's a cutter. <sighs> it's scary. Being alone on this weird planet. Let's not forget I'm infected with something. What do we got? Battery charge fragment. I mean, I would like other stuff too. I'm not complaining, but I have it now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll take the titanium. No signal. Check data cable. I don't even know what that thing is. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. Laser cutter fragment. <laughs> Why is there a laser cutter fragment in a place that I can't access unless I actually have a laser cutter? <laughs> that doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, <gasps> modification station fragment. Please, I might just need one. I need three. Okay. That's good stuff. 
Right. Okay, this is great, actually. Okay, I need... So I have one of three. This is good news. So what I can do now, actually, is I can pick up Beacon. I can go ahead and go to Beacon. Uh, remove this, and I can go to Sealed Door and Sealed Door 2. And I can get those squared away for today. Uh, so let's see, that is a thousand meters away. That's 500 meters away. Okay, so hit this and then hit the other one. That sounds like a plan. And then I need to figure out what to do next. Because um, I want that modification table. And I need the Cyclops stuff and other things. So, yeah, I need a plan. If you guys have any suggestions on where to go or what to do in between not getting led by the game to a place, then let me know down below in the comments. I will be planning. Also, this is way too dark, considering considering I just got that creepy message. I'm not happy with this scenario. <laughs> I'm just realizing the sealed door that I'm currently going to looks to be almost 300 meters in depth. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Can't open these. That looks deadly. Can't open that either. Uh, hmm. Also make sure I actually have scanned everything here. I've noted down sealed door. Ah, wait, there's some sort of thingy. Aha, that's the entrance, okay. Need some air. That took a while to find. Let's go. Wait, I haven't opened this. I'll take water. Water's good. through. Okay. Good. I have been here. And I'm assuming that this just leads outside. But then again, that wouldn't make much sense, and then I should be able to open it from the outside, so I think this will be a room. I think any sealed door like this is probably going to contain some sort of room with some sort of valuable. That would make sense anyway. Uh-huh. Basic plant, plant pot. New blueprint acquired. Supply crate. I will take those. Ray cap. Don't care about those. That was it. <laughs> okay. Well, it can contain... Useful stuff. Thick plant pot. Okay. New blueprint acquired. I, mean, I guess I'll take it. Better than nothing, I suppose. Okay, going back out. So that was sealed door number one. Now I need to find sealed door number two, which is over there. Grab you. There we go. And this looks scannable. That's open. Then plant fragment. I really need to get better at searching these places. Because I've been doing a poor job. <laughs> okay. This done is checked. Sealed door 2 incoming. Ah, uh, what's that? That sounds big. Ooh, hey fella. Hi fella, hi fella, hi fella. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> You're right there. You are right there. Are you still there? No, you stopped. Okay. Huh. <laughs> that was um something. What's that? Scanner room fragment. I don't already have that, but that's fine. I did see another fragment over here that I kind of want to get. Even though that was very close to um, Barbo here. 
scattering fragment again. I mean, I'll take the titanium. I'll need it later at some point. Okay, so that's why that place was dangerous. Got it. One thing that I'm noticing, right? We're over here, and that's the Aurora. We've been to the island that's in that direction, right? You can kind of see the clouds over there. Then there's an island over there, right in front of there, but I don't think I've been far in that direction. That could be a place to try and go as far as we can with this thing in the next episode, if we don't get any more hints. That is doable, and I'll consider it. All right, here we are. Sealed door two. First found this. Seek life fragment. I think I'll start taking all these fragments so I can't get false hope or in doubt whether or not I've taken something. All right. Sealed door right there. I'll pick you up. Let's open this bad boy. Hopefully there's another modification module in here. If there is, then we just need one. If there isn't, we just need two. Either way, it's gonna be great. Come on, and there we go. And I've already been here, question mark? I'm pretty sure that I saw the scanner icon. Mobile vehicle bay fragment. <laughs> That's it. There we go. That was that. And this, apparently, also. Yeah, that was that. Already been in here. Alright, cool. Now we know. That has been sorted. Hello. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, see you back at base. I don't really think we should make a... Um... Hello. I really think we should make a... Make like a... I need an office back home. You know, I need an office. Yeah, that's not scannable. Interesting. Oh, thanks. Seed life fragment. Inventory full. Oh. Yeah, I have a lot of titanium. <laughs> I'm not complaining, though. I am not complaining. <laughs> Alright, let's go home. Wait. I'll take it. I don't need this much titanium. I'll take it anyway. Just so that... Yeah, it's done. I guess. Alright. Home sweet home. And I think what I'm actually going to do is take the... I could use another hanger, you know. I could use another hanger. Hold on. I don't know if I have the power situation for this. Let me see here. We got a lot of stuff for the blueprint section as well. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Go down, go down, go down. Keep going. Cyclops Death Module Mark 2 and Mark 3. And Cyclops Death Module Mark 1. And Battery Charger, Plant Parts. Okay. Right. How expensive is things like solar panels? Solar panel. Converts heat to energy at medium efficiency. That could be a fun project as well. To lead power up here. Uh, hmm. I guess another bio generator is probably an ideal thing as well. I have a lot more quartz, so I can... Yeah, bio generator for when it's nighttime is probably a good idea. So maybe plop one, two, three down more? Three more down? If doable? Three of those down would be cool. I also think I need more platforms. Foundation that requires lead. Of which... Uh, mm -hmm. Beacons can go in here. I have no lead in there. One, two, three. Yeah, three. <laughs> I have three lead. That lock is full. No lead in here. And no lead in there. So I have three lead. Do I want to use that for platforms? I can make one platform, basically. And that's the batteries charged. 
Woohoo, that's awesome. We are moving up in the world. Do we have more empty batteries? We do not. Awesome. Yeah, right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be it for now. Uh, next episode, I think we will make an office. Unless some message comes up. Some more bioreactors. Another... Uh, an, an office would be good. Moon pool. Having another one would be cool. Maybe having a glass dome. Large glass dome would be fun as well. Just building, maybe? Stuff like that? I'll figure it out. Suggestions are welcome in the comments. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day. And... Ooh, nice. Perfect. And... Goodbye.